But Rumble is a place we, we went to because we felt like some of the conversations we were having on YouTube here, we weren't really being allowed to have. And why is that, you ask? Were we, were we being, you know, too disruptive? Were we being irresponsible? Why were we getting strikes from YouTube? Because we did. We got a strike on our Sherwood Players channel. It was um, really um, awful. And they said we were guilty of medical misinformation. You guys, all we do in this community is we engage with industry professionals. And when we're seeing corruption, we're going to have those discussions, just like we're having now. And I hope some of you who maybe felt we were going too far back then because we wanted to talk about health care, we wanted to talk about the corruption of the medical arena, the corruption of big pharma. If you guys thought there was no place for that here in Sherwood, okay, that's you have a right to your opinion. I hope now that we're in the streets, I hope that now you're seeing what corruption looks like when it affects you, not just when people are talking, when we weren't allowed to be having conversations during COVID, we weren't allowed to say that there was a, a, a financial transfer of wealth they went to the billionaire class during COVID, during the lockdown. We weren't allowed to talk about everyone that lost their small businesses. We weren't allowed to talk about people getting forced to put something in their arm that they didn't want. We weren't allowed to talk about censorship. We weren't allowed to say that exactly what we're doing, having discussions, was not allowed and still isn't, by the way, unless it's for a topic that has been okayed by big tech, by the government, by the corporations that run this country it's called corporatism and we're neck high in it and you guys if you want to reconsider the idea that maybe we should be having these conversations maybe it's maybe it's not inappropriate to bring it to an entertainment platform maybe we should be challenging big pharma maybe just maybe patrick's doing it ed asner did it we can challenge it only when it affects our industry or can we can we notice something's wrong for other people too can we notice it for other people can we can we have empathy for other people's in their industries when they're in the streets can we have empathy do we know what that looks like if you're asking yourself these questions or if you're resonating right now with what i'm saying we invite you over to the homeless left because we're going to be on there every Tuesday on Rumble. Rumble's a place they don't they don't give you strikes. They don't they don't punish you for having discussions. So, we're going to stick to our word and keep that show off of this platform um mostly. I mean, obviously there's exceptions like this like this issue right now. We want to talk about it with everyone, not just the entertainment crowd. By the way, guys, there's a whole other audience on Rumble that actually cares about what's going on with us right now. They actually do. And they're not even in entertainment. Can you believe it? Can you guys believe that there's actually people that are seeing the corruption? They're seeing the quiet part said out loud. They're seeing it right here. They're seeing it because we're because we're, they're covering it. We're seeing, oh, did those CEOs actually say they're not going to do negotiations until the, the writers uh, were living out of their cars? Did they actually say it? Yeah, they said that. Guess what? It's not just the actors and artists and writers that care. There's people outside that care too. Why do they care? Because they already were paying attention. They were having discussions with us about these other problems, forcing people to close their businesses, forcing people to put shots in their, in their children's arm, For whatever they were dealing with. People who are anti-war that say, hey, maybe we're giving billions of dollars to, the, to, to, a, to a corrupt country in Europe, but we have homeless people living under every bridge. Oh my gosh. Um, sorry guys, didn't mean to go so far with Sherwood because we're supposed to talk about fun and storytelling and entertainment. Guess what? We can't have conversations about entertainment and storytelling if we're censoring everyone. And we're not just, we censor people you, you disagree with. Oh, that's fine, right? So it's okay to tell people to shut up that you don't agree with, but it's gonna affect you eventually. You're gonna have to shut up. So anyways, enough of that. If you guys wanna, continue that conversation past today, then please um, do a favor for everyone yourself. And if you, if you're feeling it, if you're feeling it, only if you're feeling it, I won't force you otherwise, but just go to our, the homeless left website. That'll take you right to rumble. 
You can sign up on Rumble for free. It's easy. Uh, it takes a minute. And you guys can watch our show every Tuesday. We have a whole nother audience, a whole nother audience outside of the entertainment industry. They care about when, when, when people are getting screwed by, by the corporate elite that actually run this country. They care. And we're mad as hell. We're not going to take it anymore.